Hello, today I want to look at uh, flavouring or colouring your sweet corn. Pretty simple really. The way I do it is just get a, a sieve, get your sweet corn, just drain off all the juices. Like so. Don't have to throw the juice away though, you can keep it. I always find if you're using sweet corn in uh, ground bait or hemp or whatever, keep the juices and just add that to the water that you're using to mix the ground bait up. Always a good idea. A little trick I normally use is when I'm um, using corn as a hook bait. If I just want to flavour like a couple of grains for a hook bait, for example, I'll just fill up one of these little pots and I could just add the colour in. The only colour I use is basically red for sweet corn. Let's put a little dollop of that in there. Well, we'll colour it first and then flavour it. Just put the lid back on, give it a shake. Should soak in after a while. Now flavourings, um, <clears throat> down to personal preference really, but I'd like to go down the sweet route. Either Scopex is always a good one. Banana, very underrated. I've caught loads using banana. Good old fashioned carp or strawberry, as we all know it. Well, a little one that recently came out was uh, Sweet and Jerry. Very sweet, very fruity. There's loads of different ones you can use. They're the ones that I normally try and stick to. Uh, for, for this one, for the red one, I'm just going to use some yeah, go Scopex. You don't need to put too much in there though, because this, this though, the booster is quite um, concentrated. Just put a little bit in there. As before, just give it a quick shake. You can have a stick that in your fridge or in your bait bag, ready for the morning. Or I'll do another one. I won't bother colouring this one though. Stick some banana in. As before, just shake it. Just leave it overnight. <coughs> That's basically it, really. You can freeze it if you want to. Um, just bag them up. If you're doing big batches or whatever, or if you, even if you're doing little small hook, hook packs, just put them in little freezer bags, make sure all the air's out of them, tie them up, put them in your freezer. You find that the corn goes a bit softer, I actually find sometimes it actually works better, especially like during the colder months where they, where you're using corn skins. I find that a lot better if it's been frozen, because it's a lot softer, the, the, the kind of crunchiness has gone to it, if you know what I mean. It seems to work quite well. Like I said, there's millions of flavours you can use, but these are just the ones that I kind of stick to. As long as it's kind of sweet and it's got some kind of drawing power to it, then you should pretty much catch on it. Um, like I said, I do use that quite a lot. I mean, I will put some of the loose offerings into, uh, into my ground bait, if I'm boiling it in or cupping it in or whatever. Different colours also add different uh, attractions to the fish. That's what it's all about, just getting the fish there and getting them feeding. So I mean, if your hook bait stands out, then uh, you should catch one a bit quicker. Uh, so it's good for bream, tench, carp, big roach, big rud. Pretty much, uh, well, corn's basically a good bait for a larger size small uh, silverfish, if you know what I mean. But obviously carp love it, have done for years. That's all we need to know, really, isn't it, really? I suppose. All right, if you've got any questions or anything, just uh, pop a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks very much. Cheers.